This video will cover the steps in creating a 360 degree panorama using the Enscape program. So we opened up the SketchUp model that we used during Enscape and all the lights and settings and materials are set up ready to go. So we'll go ahead and click this button here to begin rendering in Enscape. And it'll take a little while for the scene to load. There was a lot of pieces there. It may load something like this. And all we have to do then is to go back to our SketchUp file and make sure that this synchronized views is selected. Once you do that, whatever happens in the SketchUp environment is going to show up in Enscape. For a 360 view, you tend to want to be a little bit more in the middle of the room. So we might just go ahead and just move in just a little bit with our mouse inside Enscape. And we'll kind of maybe move up a little bit. So I'm using the Q and the E keys to kind of set, set the view. I think this will be pretty good to create our 360 view. To do that, I'm going to click on this button right here. And you can see we can have a mono panorama or a stereo panorama. Uh, the stereo is like when you have those Google Cardboard and such that you can create the stereographic kind of view of panorama. But we're just going to make a, a mono panorama. It'll be a file we can give to the client. So we're going to click on this mono panorama. And then it starts creating some very odd looking images as it goes through it. And that's standard. And it'll take a while depending on how complex your model is. I've speeded it up a little bit for this video. Once it's done, it returns back to beginning screen as we see here. It has saved this file to the uh, cloud and it's it saved a link on your My Documents folder. We can download that to our hard drive by clicking this button here. This is the Cloud Upload Management button. If you click on it, this is the file that was created. You can upload it to your website. You can download it to your hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to put it in our SCID folder. The name, let's make it Hotel Enscape Panorama. And so that file then be created. We can go ahead and open up our SCID folder and you can see that the Enscape panorama is created. When you look at it, it looks kind of strange. But we have a viewer that we can use to see it better. The viewer is called FSP Viewer. And there's a folder that you downloaded from the files at the beginning of the class. If you click and drag that in to the FSP Viewer folder, and then open up the FSP Viewer, you can see the files in there. And then all you need to do is drag this file that you created into the viewer itself. Now the viewer is freeware. It says this is free for commercial and non-commercial use outside of Italy. So as long as it's not being used in Italy, you can welcome to have that FSP viewer. So just click and drag this into here and when you let go, it'll open up in a window. And you can see pretty much, you can use the scroll wheel to scroll back and forth. You can use your left mouse button to kind of pan up and down and, and look around. Uh, again, if you scroll back far enough, you can see that the distortion happens a little bit. But uh, if you get it about this big, it's gonna look kind of real. It makes a good sense of what it looks like in the space and how, you know, how some of the lighting areas are. And it's a good view for a client. Hope this helps you make your own renderings in the future.